saying it all afternoon. It's the calm before the storm, Shane. Round two is on its way. What do we need to know tonight? Uh, round two is going to be the uh, just old-fashioned Rocky Balboa uppercut oh, after geez. the little jab <laughs> earlier this week. Uh, this one's going to be a bigger storm. We're going to have a lot of snow, a lot of ice. This is going to be a you need to stay home for a day or two, let Mother Nature do its thing, mm -hmm. and then journey back out kind of storm. You can see we still have snow on the ground uh, up at U-Pike. Uh, here's a look from the U-Pike Skycam. You can see downtown Pikeville just still covered with a couple inches, not too much. Yesterday's snow, a, a, a nuisance snow definitely caused some issues, but it's uh, going to be not much compared to what's coming. Let's get right down to it. Pinpoint Doppler right now, dry for most of us. A little bit of precipitation down to our south, most of that not hitting the ground just yet. The air is just way too dry, but that's a sign of things to come. We will have moisture streaming in from the south during the overnight tonight. Those temperatures into the 20s and 30s, although notice a little warmer down near the Tennessee border. That's going to play a big factor into the forecast for tomorrow. The snow moves in after midnight. It actually starts as a little bit of freezing rain and snow mix. Just a messy wintry mix by noon, and then in the afternoon we change over to heavy, wet snow, and it could be uh, pretty substantial at times, up to one to two inches per hour. Winter storm warning through Saturday evening. Here's a breakdown of what to expect. Increasing clouds tonight, still a few slick spots. After midnight, that mix of freezing rain with some snow moves in. That lasts until noon tomorrow afternoon. The change over to very heavy snow. There's the leading edge of that storm system off to our south. That first low dissipating, transferring its energy to the second area of low pressure. That one is the one that comes up and moves into eastern Kentucky tonight. Let's map it out hour by hour at Future View. Just after midnight near the Tennessee border, freezing rain starting, snow possible up near the Hal Rogers Parkway by about 2 or 3 in the morning. 5 o'clock in the morning, leading edge now near the Mountain Parkway, pushing farther to the north. As we go into the afternoon, we all change over to that heavy snow, and it will put down quite a bit in a short amount of time. We are talking snowfall rates of 1 to 2 inches per hour of heavy, wet snow. Roads are going to be a mess all day tomorrow. And then Saturday, we'll see lingering snow showers throughout the day, just adding insult on top of injury. Here's a look at that updated snow forecast. The lowest confident amount of, uh, or the lowest confidence in the forecast down near the Cumberland Valley, three to six inches of snow, five to ten up near the Howe Rogers Parkway. We could see a little bit more freezing rain that would lower the snow totals and up the ice totals. We could see a little bit more snow and you'd go vice versa. But up into the big sandy, 12 to 18 inches of heavy wet snow. Power outages look likely tomorrow. The impact from the snow and ice will be very high and roads will be almost impassable tomorrow and Saturday. I don't say that lightly, but folks, if you can stay in the next two days, do it and let this storm pass. And then after that, we have single digit lows to deal with Sunday and Monday, Angela. Yeah, it sounds like people need to get what they need from the store tonight, do those sorts of things, and then just plan on staying home tomorrow. You, I would be indoors by midnight tonight, do all your preparations between now and then, and then just hunker down for a while. All right, well, thank you so much.